Dan Jackson. I'm the author of The Northumbrians, The Northeast of England and Its People, A New History. And the Discovery Museum in Newcastle have invited me to come along and select a few of my favourite items from their collection. I'm going to start with a uniform, and it's a uniform that belonged to an officer of the Northumberland and Newcastle Volunteer Cavalry from around 1849. And I've chosen this because I think it illustrates some of the extraordinarily deep-seated martial traditions of the northeast of England. Something that connects the deep past of the Roman Wall, the wars with Scotland, the border reavers, right up until the present day, when recruits from the northeast of England are still overrepresented in the British Armed Forces. To illustrate the point about the importance of the military, this uniform has some interesting features, but they had a dual purpose. The first of them was to protect the rider, but they also made the trooper look smart, and it made life in the army appeal to potential recruits. The high collar improved the posture by keeping the chin up. The epaulets broadened the shoulders and protected the rider from sword cuts. The short jacket made the legs look longer, and the tall hat and plume made the soldier wearing it look over two feet taller. Now, regiments of volunteer cavalry were first established in Britain in the late 18th century and as a response to the threat from France. But this unit wasn't raised until 1819, the year of the Peterloo Massacre. This was a period of much civil unrest across Britain, and this was caused by the economic slump that followed the end of the Napoleonic Wars. This unit was first deployed in the northeast in 1831 in a series of violent confrontations with striking miners, when there was almost a military occupation of the Great Northern Coalfield. By 1849, the regiment was firmly established in Newcastle and even opened a riding school in Northumberland Road, which still stands to this day. In 1876, the regiment was renamed the Northumberland Hussars, Hussars being a Hungarian word to describe a light cavalryman. And the Noodles, as they were nicknamed, went on to fight in the First World War and the Second World War and still exist to this day as a unit of the Queen's Own Yeomanry, part of the Army Reserve. But the history of light cavalry goes back even further in our region's history, at least as far as the Middle Ages, where Northumbrian hobblers mounted on small, quick horses, were staples of the English armies that fought the Scots, and from which we get the phrase, hobby horse. Mm -hmm.